also, I understand everybody's got headaches about all this that's going on with this Walmart Black Series line. The fact that there's only three figures of each, it seems, for this one and the uh, Commando. And then I think there's three to four of the Ahsoka's Trooper. Um, I just don't understand why Hasbro isn't dumping like 20 cases of these per Walmarts. They should definitely be able to make as much, especially with as much as we had pre-orders. But with all that aside, I'm so happy I got this. I hope everybody finds one out there. This is the review of the Star Wars Black Series, Clone Wars, Mandalorian, Loyalist. This is a really nice figure. I think most of it's reused from the Django Fett body. I don't own Django Fett. I'm just, he's cool, but I'm just not really a big fan. I like these kind of clones from Clone Wars better. Uh, the package sides are really nice on these. They did a really good job. The yellow is a perfect color for this series, I believe. You notice that I've been finding them with these boxes like this, but it's not damaged. It seems like when it came off the 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 printers, if you will, that they put it against something and then they peeled off. So I've seen it. Every one that I got of these figures seems to have the same kind of issue one way or another. As you see, the yellow border goes around. This is number four in the Star Wars Clone Wars series. Uh, let's stop wasting time. Let's get this guy open. I've been waiting for two days. All right, so the first thing we're going to go over is this jetpack. They did a really good job with the detail on here. I feel like the Mandalorian could have used a little more flair on his, but it's fine for what it is. It's got the same peg system. Like I said, this is basically, most of it should be reused for what I see, or what I've seen, I should say. It's got really nice colors punched in there. I like he's got a little bit of the red right there on his chest and then also on his side. Here, let me just grab the figure. As you can see here, punched in and it goes really nice with the color scheme of this figure. He's got a lot of battle damage. I believe most of the battle damage is similar. I'll figure it out when I go through the other figures in this line. Uh, the head sculpt's amazing, typical. It's got does it got the head? See, this one doesn't have the head underneath because I believe it went through the old sculpt. You know how they got the heads in the new ones, the clones and the stormtrooper? Yeah, this one doesn't actually have it. Uh, his gauntlets look really nice. The back's pretty much the same with the holes punched in with the, almost, the oh my god face. <laughs> um, as far as the guns, here, let me, while we're at it, in that area. Um, his guns fit in here really nice. They slide in. I feel like this could be a little bigger, but it's it's pretty snug for what you need. It's not going to fall out at all. As you can see, well, this one's a little tight. I don't want to put these in too far. And it looks good. It's just, it, it kind of sticks out a little bit on this side. Let me see if I can put that in. Yeah. I don't want to get these stuck. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely going to be in his hand for the most part. So we might as well just set that up right quick. See, I bend the fingers out sometimes, put it in there, and then just let it come in. It's almost like he's gripping it himself. He doesn't have the elbows. I really wish he had the newer elbows with the double joints on them. I feel like that would have been a much better look for him. He could have had the gun up. But the fact that he has these... It's kind of cool anyways, because he kind of he could kind of be holding two people at once with this gun. Get his jetpack, ports right in here. I know there's so many other guys that are going to do the, the articulation and everything, and that's their thing, and that's fine. Like I said, this is a reuse sculpt, so it's pretty much going to be about the same. You got a little wearing here. The guns go down on his crotch piece as well. Silver, I mean, they really did a really good job with this figure. Like I said, I just wish it was on the newer scope. Yeah, I mean, not much else to complain except for the fact that I didn't like having to pay twenty four eighty eight for this figure, just because it was an exclusive, especially at Walmart when they're selling figures for seventeen eighty eight, and the new McFarlane ones are fifteen ninety eight, I believe. Yeah, he stands quite well for the most part when you get them in the right pose and that 
But yeah, I mean, I recommend them, but it, it's so hard to find them. I know eBay, he's doing 40 to 50, which really right now isn't that bad considering it's 25, so around 26 with tax, and then you figure probably like four to six to ship. So, I mean, it is what it is. Before these turn out to be, you know, 80 to $150 figures because of the way they brought them up. But I'm really hoping that there's going to be repacks, but... What I know from all the pre-orders that have been canceled, I'm not sure that's going to happen because the way they came out in those mailers, which if you guys get to your Walmart and they don't have it out, talk to someone, you know, be patient, you know, discuss with them, take pictures in. That's what I did. I said, you know, this is what it looks like. And it's like, I know you guys got it back because it said it. Would you please check? And the guy that was working for me said, you know what, I'll, I'll go back there and look for it and came right out with it. And I even helped them bust it open. I was so excited to see this. I grabbed one of everyone I need. I just didn't grab Ahsoka for some reason, but I already got two of her. But yeah, that's pretty much it for him is just be patient. Like I said, maybe we get repacks. Maybe these are going to start popping up at the big stores, which like the, you know, big bad toy store and all that. But, you know, good luck with trying to get your stuff up there. I still have stuff for about eight months now sitting in my cart. Or that I put, you know, I pre-ordered that I haven't gotten yet. So, yeah, if you guys could like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, have yourself a good day. Happy Halloween and be safe.